Hi guys, welcome back to Kevin Yo. Today I'm doing another video. This is how to solo a 160 deliver the bomb mission. So this is the new method, guys. And this is my hero loadout. So I'm using Ice King. So whenever zombies break the base, they freeze. I'm using recycling so you can get your mats back. And Mega Base, which makes your base connect more longer. Lofty architecture, which means you're building walls and they actually heal 28%. And for this power modulation, base are healed for 4% of max health every 10 seconds. So this is gadget cooldown, 20% of banner and solar field, since those are the two gadgets I have. Hotfix, which makes building repair speed 10% more faster. So then that means that's already 10% quicker. So this is Banner and Slowford. Those are the two gadgets I'll be using. Banner to spawn and Slowfield to make the zombies more slower and the mini boss if it does spawn. So let's start the mission. As you see guys on the left, it's Deliver the Bomb 160. Four players suggested it's water. So that means you build in metal. But since it's metal corrosion, you have to build in wood. Never bid in brick. Because this is the second option, which is wood. Because wood is way better than brick in water situations. So as you can see guys on the left, I'm just showing you again. Water. And it's better corrosion, so you have to build in wood. Because if you build in metal, the whole thing will be broken very easily. So as you see, it's 160 and 4 player. So let's start it. I'm just in the loading screen. You would need four blue glue guys to start up the mission. And I'll show you how to start up the mission with that four blue glue. So you just gotta keep searching around the whole map. So as you see guys, I got my first blue glove right here. I see it just right in front of me. So I go grab it. Now I need three more since I already got one. So I just use my hoverboard to search around the whole map. Never do anomalies, they might take too long instead of just finding blue glue quite more simply and you might die while doing anomalies since there's a lot of zombies always around anomalies so I see a blue glue up here with my map I just go check it and block myself so I don't die from those zombies that are shooting me and blasters which is the mist monster so I'm at 3 right now so I need one more guys check up every single hill and around places I check up here there's nothing up here there's normally like blue glow around up hills so this Let's is the armory. the armory I just deployed it so I know it's there the armory is and let's find some more blue glow to your so bomb, I'm just gonna check if this is a mimic no it is a mimic so do not do mimics guys they might take too long time I'd rather just get blue coat that's standing right there. so just kill the zombies around you otherwise they might break the base and smashers and like every single miss monster is up to them because it's gonna keep following you So I just kill that smasher, and I kill these normal zombies, and husks. Now let's head over to the armory, since I already have four blue glue guys. As you can see on the right. Now this is where you deposit the blue glue, so I just some deposit the floor. So you get tracks after you deposit the four blue glue. And I'm just checking where the launcher is. And the rift, because that's now what the game the says. Oh yep, so this is the launcher. Deploy it. And we already see the rift to the right. So as I walk more forward, I know sure. There it is. Time to shut it down, Commander. So it's just on the right of me. I'm just trying to kill these zombies. Otherwise ready, they keep following the and break the building. The launcher. So I'm going to show you another tip 
to get up without even using actual stairs to go up but first let me just put these tracks down first and the trick will be very soon I'm just choosing where to place my track I could do it up here or I could do it below but I like it up because it actually makes it way more simple and if it's up the zombies can't come from above well most of them so right here I'm trying to go up so if you want to just go up with invisible and just make your own stair put it to a half stair just edit it like that and if you have a keyboard keep spamming your edit button and the place button and then after you, it worked just make your stair to a full Connection complete. so it worked like that that's very simple and it's just we'll a full stair the bomb to the I'm gonna kill these Don't zombies since they're in the way Yep. So we just kill all of them to be ready and, and you need to build put in around the bomb I just did over there so as you see I'm just putting wood and as the walls you also the need to put a roof lost. since the zombies can just Try jump from above and made. damage the bomb so don't forget to make a roof I'm just building that so the zombies don't really have much space to break in through. Which is a very good thing. Just cover everything up. So I'm just making these walls so zombies don't come through. And I'll make the roofs after. When I finish making all the walls. And then I also need to check if I mistake anything. If there's like still any spaces where the zombies can come through. So I just build walls around it. As you see, it's just simple as that. I'm just gonna keep checking. Oh, yep. So I missed a spot up there because zombies can come up there since there's a hill. So I just block that off. I'm going to make this roofs. And guys, don't forget you have a base, so you could just place the base to make you know the buildings more stronger. And since I'm using the commander Ice King as my constructor, then it would make it way more easier because when the zombies try to break on the walls to get in and break the bomb they just freeze since I'm using Ice King so that was an empty space I needed to fill in but yeah so I'm just gonna place my base above here since this is really good and it connects to where the bomb starts at and a little bit where the bomb starts to move towards as you can see so the bomb actually goes really really far but the base also moves while the bomb is moving. So I just start it. The bomb is on the move. Keep and now the bomb is on the move. Just keep moving while the bomb is moving. And don't forget to put your base at the top. So as you can see guys, you could hear the noise. That the zombies are getting freeze. Not by freeze traps. But actual my constructor. So some zombies can glitch through that the connection has been lost. little hustling did. But don't worry, just kill the zombie if they glitch through the walls like that little hustling did. So I'm going to make the base go up here since it connects from the right to the left. So don't forget to put the walls, guys, behind the bomb because the zombies can just come through behind and sneak in to damage the bomb. Because they want to try to find every single way to come in, like there and there. Just keep placing walls behind. So zombies have a lot to break through. And since you have Ice King on. Then the walls would be more stronger. And the zombies that are trying to break it will freeze. So yeah, it's simple as that guys. The bomb is moving slowly but not taking damage. You don't even have to shoot the zombies that's over there. Unless they come and break literally everything but they won't that's very unlikely to happen since if you have a good constructor we made it. build like mine then you'll be fine take a moment to appreciate how cool that is <sighs> I could blow so I'm just all editing of all of this 
Okay. Oh, bricks. Because you need to have as much space as you can so you know what to build. And since this is a new method, I'm just figuring out where to build. So I'm just breaking all this. Don't forget to break the traps. That's super close. And since it's in wood, I have to build the whole thing in wood. And metal corrosion. So I just build all around it first. And then you build it above it. I try to break that. But you couldn't. You can only break the one behind it. So I just go in first. And build the top. As you can see guys, I'm just making it all look good. So you can't build over there. So you have to make, you know, the wood a bit more in front. And cover this up. Because maybe flingers could come and just make zombies fly against inside. I'm just killing those zombies because they're getting in the way as well. Yeah. Just don't forget to upgrade the building. I just put a stair there so I can go up. This is the process of me trying to figure out where my base goes. So I just put my base over there for now. Because that was the first idea that I think I was doing. And just keep upgrading every single wall. Even above, because flingers could spawn, or lovers. Since this is a very dangerous mission to be in. Yeah. So don't forget to upgrade literally every single thing. Nope. Now I just put stairs to come up. Or just put a cone over there. So you could just get up. Like there. And just upgrade the top. And you wouldn't need to put anti-air traps unless flinger spawn or lava spawn. But there's a chance that they won't. If you kill, that would probably happen. But since this is AFK, you would need to kill. So, as you see guys, just editing the floor like this. So the zombies have literally no room to break through. Kill that zombie. So you gotta make a stairs and walls and floors I meant. So just keep editing the floors like that. So the zombies won't have any room to break. Otherwise they have to break the stair first and then they have to break the floor since they love to break the stair first. In previous missions they always do that. But I would usually thought that the zombies actually break the stairs first. I mean the floors first. So I just needed to break that because that was in the way. Could just mess up the whole mission. So just break it just in case. So I'm just upgrading everything. Making all of that fully max upgraded. Yep, like so. I'm pretty sure everything's upgraded. No, nope, not that. And not that. Okay. Now I just need to cover that up. Because zombies could just, you know, just break through the at the front. And you need to break that track. Because this track can stop you from building anywhere. Since it's in the way. Because I try to build a stair on, like, above the trap. And the track is blocking me from making a stair. As you see, I tried, and it sure, sure is red. That means you can't build there. Or you just have no materials, which I don't in this case. So just make a box, just like retrieve the data. And that was supposed to be closed. That was the mistake I made. But yeah, kind of lagged a bit, so it's cutting. But just keep upgrading the box and put the same sound wall because reload speed makes the durability go more slower and you need durability maxed out perks so the durability is higher and heals attach 4.8 percent of its max health every 10 seconds which makes the walls get healed by the sound wall itself and also the base since i have power modulation so just keep upgrading these stairs and put a floor there so zombies can come up through. And I'll cover that up through. 
too. See, just edit the wall like a diagonal edit. And yeah, it just covered up. You don't need to upgrade that if you don't want to. Because that's not going to be a big deal since zombies can't reach and break through it. But uh, yeah, I'm just upgrading the floors. And since the zombies come through north, south, and west. And south and west is already covered with one box. Which is very good. I just need to fill out the north. Because the north is definitely going to break something here. So I make another box. So there's going to be two boxes in it overall. Since the rift is there, I have to edit the walls diagonal again. And cover that up. I forgot to cover the insides of it as well. Which causes some bad stuff to happen. But yeah. That was the first mistake I made. But this was just a process for me. Trying to figure out where stuff goes and how I should build this. So I'm just upgrading every single wall in the second box that's going north. And put the same sound wall, guys. Those are the only two traps that you need. Because you need to put one on this side and one in the other side. If a lot of the zombies just come through one way, then just put the sound wall, that one sound wall over there. But since there's two ways, which is north and south ones, south and west, that means I had to put two boxes and that means two sound walls which means two traps but the same trap so the zombies I'm pretty sure are gonna try to break the base since the spawn is literally there just take that materials seeing where I need to put the base but I just decided to put it in there since all the building is in lower ground and the base needs to be in lower ground so it can connect to every single structure that I'm building well, as much as it can since I'm not using mega base but that is in my support which makes the building go one more tile further which helps a lot so if you die here that's fine you can just revive yourself and don't forget to put your banner before it starts so if you die just you know respawn but I just put my revive there since I didn't pull my banner yet but I put my banner before it starts don't worry You could put it at the start if you do want to make it more easier. But I just put it right there. It's at the top. So I could just spawn in the middle. Yeah, but you don't need to get any other blue. I know there's blue over there, but you still don't need it. Unless you want to get some boosts up. Or increase difficulty. But since it's four player, you can't. So I just activated the launcher. Hopefully there's no flingers. Let's just here. No, I don't think there is. So you don't need to put any anti-air traps. So just keep jumping and put your decoy down. Just so the zombies know that you're there and are going to try to come inside. Put your slow food down at the very start. So zombies would know. And they'll be much more slow as you can see. see it's like in slow motion. on right there keep moving while you're down guys okay now since I forgot to yeah I forgot to cover this up so I had to make those pre-edited walls into like tiny fences and yeah I need, need to, to cover that up as well so I just put my deco there so some of the zombies can come over here like those hustlings and I just repair this because it was breaking immediately. So this is the part where I need to close. So I just try to make these zombies go over here. I just keep repairing that. Because there's some zombies that are there. But I was supposed to cover this up. But I didn't. So that was my first mistake. So I'm just waiting for my decoy. To make the zombies move out. So that's what the decoy does. It makes the zombies move to a different place where you put the decoy at, if it's in the range. So I just keep jumping so the zombies can come to where I am. I just repair the floor because the floor is about to break and you don't want that to happen. Because then it makes the zombies have free to move. And some of those zombies are getting separated by my floor, which is a good thing. But if it breaks, it's a bad thing. So as you see guys, the mini boss spawned. 
on the map on the top right but I don't see that yet so I'm just repairing what I see right now and I needed to cover that up which I just did there's another part I needed to cover up which is that part because I don't want any other zombies breaking into that since there's already two husks like one big husk and one small husk breaking so I just needed to close that up as well because that was in the way otherwise other zombies will come and this is where I saw the mini boss but even if there was a mini boss it's fine if you have a slow food that's what slow food is used for it makes the zombies more slower so while I move around here I just repaired that because that was about to break just put my slow food and what's very good is that the mini boss actually came inside the box where I put my slow food so that's what's very good about the slow food now the mini boss can't do nothing since it's getting slowed and yeah just keep repairing that and checking over here just keep moving around guys that's all you need to do keep moving around like I'm doing right now close everything up and that's really all you need to do if this fling is just put anti air traps it would be very dangerous Surprise, but even if you get damaged like as you see the base the launcher has damaged a little 5000 HP down it's still fine it's probably just a bug or a glitch since it's just keep looking and 10 seconds I'm going to be shooting because since this is AFK you would need XP you won't get XP if you don't shoot so you get more XP like I'm doing right now so you get XP if you shoot you break and you just do stuff so like I'm doing now I'm shooting at 10 seconds which is a very good idea you can get more XP so let's just see how much XP we get we won GG's guys so that was my new method how to solo a 160 deliver the bomb mission simple as that so if you could do the 160 you can do the missions below that and it's gonna be way more easier so let's see how much XP I get Ooh, 4.697 million guys oh my goodness that is ne nearly 4.7 million that's a lot of XP you can get a lot of levels through d doing that like literally 4.7 million nearly wow I'm pretty sure it's 4.697 but this is the rewards guys that you get so level 4 so you get XP gold 1.2 million hero XP that's really helpful for upgrading your heroes 242,000 schematic XP tickets and frost up so this is my hero loadout just to show you guys again as you can see and don't forget to subscribe and like I would really appreciate that turn on the notification button so you wouldn't miss any uploads and don't forget to share this video to your friends and other people like family so they can know about this new method of deliver the bomb and yeah guys this is going to be the end of the video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video see ya